Now, just last week, the film won seven awards at the Michigan Film Awards. Marvelous. I'm delighted. Delighted for, for Chris and Mike Farah and all who took part in it. They've dedicated themselves to this with artistic passion and a real love for this place. And uh, I am in high admiration of their capacities, uh, startled by the beauty of what they've produced. Startled not because I had low expectations of them, but because my imagination of what they could do simply wasn't high enough. They did more. Uh, it really, on the screen, uh, seems a studio production with an almost unlimited budget. And given a limited budget, they leverage that into high achievement uh, on the basis of their skills, imagination, ingenuity. So high tribute to them. Now, I know you can't speak for Chris, but what's next for the film? Do you know if there's going to be more screenings, a DVD release? There will be screenings. Uh, they're in California at work on that. There's going to be a screening in California, in Hollywood, early in April. I'm going out to California for that and hope to see uh, some of our alumni there. Hope they'll be able to come and see the film and enjoy it. And then distributors have a chance to see it as well. Uh, DVD is down the line, and I suspect that everyone who has graduated from the University of Michigan or is here will want one. Uh, it is a film in which all who love this place will feel not so much or only spectators, but participants. Uh, for the first time, the university, which was marvelous about opening its facilities for this film, allowed filming during a game in Michigan Stadium. Uh, and for those virtually all who haven't seen the film yet, uh, they will find themselves just, I think the phrase is blown away <laughs> by the beauty of that. Yeah. Now, what are your thoughts on Michigan's 42% uh, tax incentive because the governor is looking to cut it or put a cap on it? So what do you think of the importance of it? I think the tax incentive is very important. And let me take that on two or three levels. Uh, there will be the importance of it in terms of the economy. Uh, those who are economists will be able to figure more exactly than I could do uh, the extent to which the supposed lost revenue uh, will be made up for and perhaps surpassed by the spending in Michigan involved in the films being done here in the extent to which Michigan, over the long term, will seem not only to filmmakers, but to others, a more attractive place uh, than they might have previously thought because they see it and it's attractive in film as it is in reality. It's a great state. Uh, with enormous natural beauty and with man-made uh, sites of enormous interest. But there's another matter which is, if not intangible, at least more difficult to grasp firmly. There is a high effect on the spirit of people in the community, communities, a, an effect of both excitement and incitement on the part of students 
here, for example, at artistic process taking place amongst us, acts of imagination. And it keeps a buoyancy then among the people here, within and about the state, uh, whose value is virtually incalculable. I know that these are difficult times for Michigan, but to make the state less vibrant, less exciting by damping down the imaginative acts going on here would be, in my view, a grave mistake. It would be to diminish the state in its attractiveness in ways which are terribly important to us in the long run in, in, in our future development. Okay. Now what's next for you? Are you considering doing another movie or what's next? Well, it would be great fun to do, wouldn't it? I mean, I've had a taste of it with this and I love to learn and the little taste is one which makes me think it would be a marvelous thing to go on, learn more, learn more, do better. Uh, as with virtually everything I've done uh, in life, uh, one says, right, now I learned something from that. I think I could do this next time. Wouldn't it be wonderful to try that? Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, well, next time. Yeah. And so if the opportunity presented itself, I'd, I'd be delighted to do. Uh, I am so excited by my teaching, by the collaboration which I uh, am doing with the Royal Shakespeare Company in England, uh, with learning in general, that I can't conceive being bored. But it would be lovely to pursue this. Any other comments here today? A thanks to you. Uh, a deep thanks to Chris and Mike Perra and all who are involved in the production of the film. And in personal terms, if I could, thus. My first knowledge of Detroit was in the late 1940s when I went to visit the auntie and uncle who would subsequently help to raise me. Uh, they would give me a quarter in the morning and I would buy a newspaper and get an ice cream cone and sit in Grand Circus Park, I was eight years old, and thought that I was the biggest lad in the biggest and best city in the world. Uh, Detroit's had some challenging times since, but it's still in the vibrancy of its people uh, in what has been passed on by prior generations and in the imagining of what it can be, a marvelous place to be. The University of Michigan is, to my mind, the greatest public university in the country and I love public universities. And a marvelous, marvelous product of the will of this, the people of this state to excellence. So the chief thing I want to say is thanks for all of that, go blue, and then for the whole state to look to a future which together we can imagine and then create. We can't live what we can't imagine a maxim of mine, and that imagining we can do together. Very good. Thanks for joining me today. No, thanks. It's a pleasure to be with you. Very good. You too.